Stand-up comedian, stalwart of radio panel shows and committed left-wing activist Jeremy Hardy has died of cancer at the age of 57. He's been mourned today by his fellow comedians, by radio listeners who never shared his views and by Jeremy Corbyn who said he gave his all for everyone else and campaigns for social justice. Jeremy Hardy was a regular on Radio 4's News Quiz and I'm sorry I haven't a clue, but though it seemed his enduring talent took him everywhere, his friend Jack D has told Newsnight that Hardy's outspoken views may have cost him some broadcasting opportunities. Here's Stephen Smith. I think it's fair to say, though, that the BBC has never practised discrimination. They've always taken on any Oxbridge graduate, regardless of talent. <laughs> so... but I didn't have a huge number of playmates. I didn't even have an imaginary friend. I had an imaginary nodding acquaintance. <laughs> Mum would sometimes lay an extra place for him at dinner times, and Dad'd say, well, I don't really know Colin that well, Mum. <laughs> would you sing the words of I taught, I taught a puddy tat? To the tune of I vow to thee, my country. There was no mistaking the Jeremy Hardy voice. Dry, wised up, radical. What? Within the constraints of well brought up Englishness. I live inside my birdcage, a hanging way up high. I live. No mistaking that singing voice either. music wasn't his forte but the BBC didn't know that Hello. I'm Dennis Potter and I'm John claude Van Damme. and this is Top of the Pops the very best in popular discotheque records brought to you by the BBC his jokes and his uh, material was entirely idiosyncratic and and um, and of course that is what that was part of his charm and part of what made him um, such a special comedian, um, I, I suppose, especially to a lot of other comedians, as much as his uh, fan base. You're, you're the eminence grease of stand-up, I would yes, say. It must I'm, have changed I'm a lot. I'm a slightly lot. inappropriate older uncle of stand-up. I think of you as a slightly sort of academic. You're more of the sort of the intellectual wing of stand-up, I think. Do you mean yeah. I'm quite clever but not entertaining? No, I think you are both of those things. Excellent. Both of Thank those you. Things. No, but there's a I'll commercial side. There's a new, massive commercial side to stand up. Not saying that you're not commercial, Jeremy, but I, you know, I think <laughs> I think of you as a sort of, you know, a polemicist. Excellent, Jeremy. What are your thoughts on that? Well, we won't be great if we leave because Scotland will leave then because they'll be annoyed with England. Scotland will leave the UK, and we won't be the UK, and UKIP will just be it. <laughs> <laughs> Which would be quite a funny name for a party, but yeah, we'll, we, we will be diminished. He certainly was never afraid to speak out what he believed in, uh, and and I I think I think probably uh, it would have made him unpopular in certain circles with with some commissioners. But it's a shame in a way he, he you know to, for, for him to have been um, uh, excluded from quite a lot of TV programs that he he would have uh, fitted in very well to. Uh, the thing with Jeremy, though, with he was able to talk about politics on stage and make it very funny. Jeremy Hardy's been credited with helping to reinvent and update BBC's panel shows on radio and TV. It must have been very difficult for the new woman in his life each time. She'd say, oh, I don't know, Henry. Every, everywhere I look, I just see her face because it's on a pole. I, I loved his sense of humour as well as his sense of comedy. And a lot of comedians don't have both of those things. Uh, it may be surprising to hear that, but he really had a fantastic sense of humour as well. And it was always just a delight uh, to spend time with him. You felt that the room was full of mirth wherever he was. I hope when I die that they make a, a show business tribute. And I hope you'll all be honoured to be my guests, really. Um, because I like show business tributes for dead comedians. Because they, people always say about them, he was such a funny guy, very, very funny man. In fact, he was just as funny off stage as he was on stage. It's great when you paid seven quid to go and see them, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, my name is Jeremy Hardy, and this has been an experience for all of you, I'm sure. Good night. <laughs>